Hello there, adventurers, and welcome to Wall ADM. Today, our adventuring party enters a room with 12 stone pedestals laid out in the shape of a clock with a beam of light coming from the center of the ceiling. A cross on the far wall reads, flip the tablets to show three, and then make the time 333. What's going on? Well, this is a puzzle submitted by one of my YouTube subscribers, Joel Zuras, and we're going to take a look at it. This is the puzzle of three, 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 three. Now, before we start the puzzle, just a reminder that I am working on a D&D puzzle book, hopefully being released on Kickstarter or the DMs Guild very, very soon. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and that you click the notification bell, and that will probably be the best way to get updates on how you can get this book of at least 70 D&D puzzles for your RPG, Pathfinder, or D&D game. Let's take a look at this puzzle. So in this puzzle, our adventuring party enters a room with 12 stone pedestals, and they are shaped in a circle or in the shape of an analog clock. Through the top of the ceiling of this room is light, and this light extends out to the pedestals, but it ends right about there. So we have a beam of light coming through, and we have this little bit of a platform here at the top, and it kind of slopes up where there's a flat circle here. Probably just wide enough where someone could stand. Now on the wall or wherever you decide to put it, we have a message. Flip tablets of three. Then make the time three, three, three. So now if a character investigates these pedestals, each one has like a stone tablet that can be flipped over. So if this character comes over to this one and flips this over and turns it over onto the pedestal, this one is going to have the number seven on it. But it's not going to be the numerical digit seven. It's going to be seven spelled out. S-E-V-E-N. Now the characters can go through and they can flip every tablet over and each one is going to be in the same format. So if they come over here and flip this one, the tablet will show five. If they flip this one over here, the tablet will show three, T-H-R-E-E. -E. If they flip this one, the tablet will flip six. So with the clue, flip tablets of three, then make the time 333. Three, three, knowing that it looks like a character needs to stand here and also knowing that each of these pedestals has a tablet that you can flip over and one side is spelled out the number like S-I-X or F-I-V-E and the other side is blank. Do you think that you can solve the puzzle? I'll give you a second if you'd like to figure it out. Did you get it? Great. Let's go over the answer. So the answer flip tablets of three. We are actually going to count the letters in each of the spellings of the numbers. And this will have a margin of error of one. So if the characters go around and flip all of the numbers that are spelled with only three letters, The numbers that each are composed of three letters are 1, 2, 6, and 10. So the characters will need to go around and flip the tablet over so that these are facing up. And make sure that all of the other tablets are faced down so no spellings and no numbers are evident. Now where our margin of error comes in is actually the number 3. So this third pedestal over here, it actually doesn't matter if it's faced up for T-H-R-E-E -E, or face down because that could actually be interpreted either way. It could be a part of the solution, flip tablets of three. So this has three letters, this has three, this has three, this has three, and this is three. Or they can have it flipped down just deciding to go with the ones that are spelled with three letters. Up to the players on that one, either answer should be acceptable. Now, after this is set up this way, then one of the characters needs to come out here and stand on this pedestal in the middle and they need to take their left arm and face it 
towards the number three and then 33 is about in this direction so they take their other arm and point it in that direction and then the sun will come through it'll light it up they'll be able to see the clock hands pointed towards the three and the 33 and your players have solved the puzzle from here, possibly a door could open, a portal could open, perhaps there is something on the other pedestals that flip over and give them an item, but that's up to you as the DM. Now, of course, if the players get it wrong, then perhaps this sunlight that's coming through spreads out and everyone in this room takes radiant damage. And then after that damage is taking all the tablets flip back to their original position and allows the players another chance to solve the puzzle. So that's all I have for you today. Again, thanks to Jalzuras, one of my YouTube subscribers, for allowing me to present this puzzle on my channel. And I will put a link to the original Reddit thread in the notes below. So with that being said, what did you think of the puzzle? Is this something that you could use in your game? And if so, if your players stumble a little bit, what hints do you think you could give them to help them solve the puzzle? Or is there something that you would do differently? Be sure to comment below. Let's get a discussion going. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and on to the next.